Um, today is a Friday, May 22nd, and I am at my hotel room. Um, I stayed in Atlanta last night. It is, what time is it? I'm not prepared. It's 6.01 in the morning, which is 5.01 my time. My body thinks it's 5 o'clock. But I drove to Atlanta last night to stay here because I have a flight in about an hour and 45 minutes. So I need to like get going. So I'm not sure how, if the airport's going to be slower now with all the precautions or whatnot. I have a mask in the car starting today. Um, they're all required. So everyone there should have a mask on. And yeah, so I'll be in Iowa till Sunday. Quick trip to get some stuff done. But I'm remembering you guys with me. So let's go. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. Good morning guys from Iowa. Um, I did not vlog when I got here yesterday just because I ran and got lunch really quick after the airport, brought it home and then some neighbors um, and people down the street all came over to say hi and we just kind of talked and then I went to a nice dinner last night. So good. I, if you ever come to Des Moines or in the area, Splash Restaurant downtown is my favorite restaurant you guys it is so amazing it's a pricier like a nice restaurant uh, i think my meal last night for example was with the tip it was a hundred dollars 101 i think is what i ended up paying um so it's a very expensive nice restaurant but so good such a treat and i really wanted to have it when i came into town because it is just amazing and i've been a couple times nothing crazy um so if you ever come to des moines that's so good um, and then I didn't want to be in there. It was really dim lighting. You can't really see anything in there anyways. <laughs> so, um, maybe I'll throw up some pictures of my food last night. But today, I actually slept until 1130 this morning. I'm, oh, I'm so upset at myself. I actually woke up at 9 and then rolled over and fell back asleep. I have not slept until 1130 in years. Like, we're talking before... Aniston was born. It's been a very, very, very long time um, because we had drinks after dinner, uh, like during dinner. And then when I got home, I think I was just so tired from waking up early from the airport, being up late, that I just caught up on sleep. But that means that I missed going to the post office this morning to ship myself some boxes. Luckily, I have great friends here who will do that for me. But I'm going to show you guys the house really quick because you guys haven't seen it in a while. I know that you guys are probably gonna be curious about like what I'm taking. I also just got coffee too. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of show you guys what is gonna be moved in the fall. And uh, just really quick in case you guys are curious. Um, my And if you're a new subscriber, this is the house that I had in Iowa. Um, so this office furniture is gonna be mine. My chair will be mine, it'll be moved in the fall. And then um, the mirror that was here, I moved it. But um, yeah. So he let me have all my Ray Dunn stuff, <laughs> which is, he didn't want it. And then like the wine fridge and my pun pictures that I love so much in this mirror right here. As you can tell, I've been getting ready down here. I got ready down here last night. Look at my stuff just all over the place because I was in such a hurry. And behind last night. But yes, the Christmas tree is still up. Like smaller stuff like this, we kind of just decided that we would agree and divide it ourselves. 
and it's nice like not having to fight over things i think that we just got to a point that we just decided that we would just agree on things and that's what we did but um here is the upstairs bed and this bed and this bench is mine um and then like all the bigger like furniture is gonna he's gonna keep that and guys i still have a closet of clothes back here closet of clothes and all this <clears throat> i need to um box up later today and i'm actually going to ship that to myself since i missed the post office i'm upset at myself i'm going to have a friend of mine drop it off this week and um, just pay her and then have her ship the boxes to me i have to go pick up some boxes though because um i don't have any here at the house i use them all to move and then uh last night i was go i went through some um of the Christmas decor and some other stuff in the basement and separated that out because we're splitting some of that stuff in half as well. Here's all this. Um, I'm not really sure what we're doing with all of this yet because um, I think he's gonna bring it down in the fall because I'm gonna have to store a lot of this stuff into my parents' um, garage, like outside garage because I don't move out until next summer and I won't have any room for it. But I was really sad coming into this room. But obviously the twins, I'm going to take these signs too. He'll bring those down. But I remember, guys, I remember putting this room together. And oh, I love that. Oh I love this room. Like it's 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 like super weird being in here. I got it. Think I was gonna cry. I just love this room so much, and we worked hard on it. And um, I've, I've always loved this room, favorite room in the house. And it's weird because I haven't been in here, you know, since obviously since I left. But this room makes me just so happy. God. I don't know why I'm crying. Maybe because I miss them. <laughs> Maybe because I miss them so much already. Oh. And like being in here makes me think about them. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Um. Oh gosh, look at all these baby clothes. Um. These are baby baby clothes from when they were little. Like little six month clothes. So yeah, there's still like a lot of stuff in here that I kind of had to go through really quickly. But now that I've made a mess of myself, oh my gosh, I'm going to go ahead and get some work done quick. And um, I'm going to have to order some lunch or something because I'm starving to death. And um, I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, I'm actually trying to get ready now. So I'm kind of sitting here trying to figure things out. I think I'm going to make a trip back up here after the summer just because um, there's a lot. So, and I think, did I tell you guys already? I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. Everything is kind of a cluster. So, I didn't get, I'm not going to get to see Paige this trip. Did I tell you guys that though? I feel like I told you guys. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so I'm not gonna get to see Paige this trip. I hope that, um, for one, this camera focuses, but for two, I don't think I told you guys, I can't remember, everything's a cluster. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend. Her mom ha already had them scheduled to go to the Ozarks, so I didn't get to see her, but I really wish I would've thought about it being Memorial Day weekend before I booked the trip because um, I would have I would have known they usually go out of town this weekend. But her mom texted me yesterday and let me know. Um, so, I mean, I'm really bummed. I know Paige is bummed, so I do feel bad, but I know she's having a lot of fun in the Ozarks, so she's not thinking about it. But the amount of things that are here, I may have to come back up here at the end of the summer anyways. Um, because I have so many clothes and I won't have, be able to um, 
ship them back because I literally missed the post office being open this morning. And um, down here, this is a pile that, well, they were folded and I started like ripping them off. This is a pile that's actually going to be shipped to me. I'm going to have a friend ship it for me. Uh, some summer clothes, some more hats, <laughs> and things like that. But I have a lot of stuff still here. I'm going to go through and make sure the ones that don't fit me anymore are too small. I can go ahead and get them donated. And then a the, the lot of these are winter clothes. So, and my gosh, Brian's got a lot of clothes. I just realized how much clothes he has. But I've been just kind of walking around, like, looking in... I took everything that I needed for a few months whenever I first moved, but now I'm going through just checking out things. Like there's some pictures that I, you know, have in like side tables and stuff like that. Um, there's a few like, like my IVF journal. I want to make sure I take that back with me so I have it saved for obviously the babies whenever they're older. And I really miss my babies right about now. Um, I'm glad that I have plans tonight so I can get my mind off of it or I'd like break apart. But there's a lot of like, I don't know if you guys can see like pictures and books and stuff like that, that I need to look at too. So I'm slowly but surely getting stuff done in here. Um, it's just, trying, I'm just trying to keep focused. Like that breakdown earlier kind of set me back a little bit because I didn't expect to be upset um, I think it's normal though. Like I, it's normal to be upset. Like I honestly th thought it would happen that at some point being here, I would be upset. But of course it was whenever I entered the baby's room. So, um, I'm just checking in <laughs> because I have to remember that I'm vlogging. Okay. I gotta pack this bottle of wine, hopefully in this box, and ship it to myself. So, um, funny story about this thing of wine. Um, this is a raspberry wine from this winery called Snooze Hill. It's uh, in like a really small town right here in Iowa, but this is the last bottle they made of this wine, and I've been saving it for six years. And, um, I just want to make sure it makes it back to where I live safely. Um, so I'm going to ship it to myself in this box and I hope that it makes it. But I've never shipped wine before and I'm literally terrified. But people ship wine all the time. So hopefully it's okay. But I am going to just pat it really well. And I might need a second towel. Okay. I hope it makes it. And I'm sure some of you guys are asking why I'm not um, checking it onto the plane. Um, that's because I'm actually not checking a bag at all on this flight. And I, I don't think you can bring this much uh, liquid into a carry-on. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can. So, I'm gonna do it this way and hope that it makes it okay. I think about us, I think about us calling. I think about us, I think about us falling. Through the dark night and through time, towards the light when you be mine. I think about us, I know the dawn is for us. I wanted to hop on here and just tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys watching my vlogs and I actually got home at about one o'clock the next morning so I was not about to continue vlogging it was dark and I was driving anyways but I had a nice trip I'll be back in about um, a month and a half two months it was nice to see everyone but I miss Paige and I still have stuff to do at the house but the day after I got back school started and that has been going crazy so I will see you guys next time thank you guys again so much for watching Bye.